Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Crusader Kings 3. Welcome back to my Alfred series. This will be episode 12, and we are going to uh, continue what we're doing. And uh, first, we're going to go through the issues that we have available. Uh, we can ransom Earl Edveld, but he, I believe he was the one. Yeah, he is a rival, so we are not going to free him. We can transfer this vassal, and we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to transfer her to our son. Okay. Uh, powerful vassal is one. Council positions. I don't care what you want. Can lawfully imprison him, which he will not like me, and we don't really have a chance of doing that. So we're going to let that go to active election. We know that. And we're in line to inherit those places. Great. Now we can declare wars. We are nearly at full strength. So we're going to take a look at what we can do here can go after that stuff. Holy War for the Duchy. It caused some piety, but not all that much, and they are vastly inferior. I think we might as well do this. It should be easy. He has allies, though. They're not very strong. Let's go ahead and do that. What? No, come on. Holy War. It won't let me do it. Crusade fails. It appears that Pope Callistus' uh, passionate plea to join against the enemies of the cross was less persuasive than he expected. Too few were the faithful who decided to heed his call to arms, far too few to organize a proper army. Left with no other choice, the king bishop has been forced to call off the crusade and denounce all Catholic rulers for their cowardice and weakness. All right, well, I gained money. All right, sounds good. I don't know why it won't let me do this. All right, so I guess I won't be doing that right now. Let's see who else we can declare war on. Another holy war. Inferior, this one isn't quite as good. This one is quite a bit better. Could do a holy war for kingdom. Not high enough for that in the stuff that's not a big enough war. I mean, the other ones are smaller too. Oh, Aetherwolf has a, a claim here. Can go after that. Vastly inferior, no allies. Why is it not letting me declare war? I wonder what is up with that. That is strange. Okay, you've arrived. That's fine. I don't care. Like this. Yes, I want that. That's what I where you And we have the prestige. Why isn't it letting me do this? Declare war button is not working. Okay, well, Bjornmund, my, uh, has come of age. Very good. He's a charismatic negotiator. All right, well, what is this? All right, we were at war here. That's probably why we can't do it, because we have joined this. Do we, where's our armies? That's not ours. That's not ours. I know we brought armies that I here we go. Where are we going? We want to just come over here and start taking this stuff. Yeah, let's go right here. Okay. I've regained my position here of what we're doing. It's been a few days since I recorded this and uh, because of scheduling issues. But we are doing a battle of Sligo. We have a war? Or like, who came over there? Well, oh, whatever. We're over here sieging. That should help as well. Mental break. No time for myself. I am at stress level one. It can wait. It all can wait. Lose 42 stress. That might be good. 
Uh, this could get me something. Monthly income goes down, prestige goes up, stress loss goes up. We spend a bit of money though. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we also have a lifestyle perk. Okay, prepared conscription. Army gold maintenance goes down, friendly territory. Yeah, let's do that. Or, uh, no, we don't need that. King's Guard, number of knights goes up. Let's do that. Because I think we're big enough that we can get some knights. Yoman can marry. Let's go ahead and find you a spouse. Um, and let's do Alliance Power. You are my spare heir. And although, you know what, if I put you at a big alliance, like with Italy, oh, that's vastly inferior. Okay. Intelligent, that would be a good trait to have in the dynasty. Yep, sounds good. How old are you? 11? Yeah, not bad. Okay. That's good, a few knights. Let's go ahead and invite knights if we can. We have plenty of knights here, invite knights. Um, right. Okay, yes. I, I'm glad they added that uh, uh, dismissal thing. Okay, very good. Uh, this will cost prestige. Very good. Do that. We have more knights coming, and then that will be good. I'm going to have some coffee while we wait for the siege. Mm, I like how they changed this up. So this is my first time playing since the most recent patch came out. Um, today is Tuesday. It came out this morning. And I'm noticing all the different things they did. And this is a great thing. It, it changes the artwork there. It looks really cool. And this should give us a nice little victory here in this war that France should win pretty quickly. We're gonna come down here next. We have a prisoner, very good. I like prisoners because we can, usually we can ransom them, but I guess this person isn't worth ransoming. We can get a weak hook on this guy that's like nothing. No, you can just sit in my prison. I don't want a hook, I want money. Or like, I don't want a hook on somebody over here. Hey, right, what is this anyway? Kingdom, oh, okay, so. In force demands, King Louis gains the kingdom of East Francia. Yeah. So like, he will be very strong after this war. Which will be good because we're allied with him right now. Another knight has arrived. Which is also good. We're going to have a very strong army. And in fact, let's split this up. And one of you can come over here. We're going to siege double. You want to come over here next. Siege one. Gained another level of fame. So we're gaining a lot of prestige. Ooh, secular opinion is up. Number of knights is pretty high. Uh, to the rattling king, we've been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. A foreign ruler. Oh, a peasant revolt. Okay. Uh, no. You can start a war. Okay. Did that rally, rally new troops down here? Okay, we're gonna have to send some troops back down. Peasant uprising. Yeah. We're gonna win these sieges. You're not really doing anything here. 
Why aren't you doing anything? It must all be part of that county. Okay, frames, you're back on your own for a little bit. Once this siege is done, he's going to leave too. I mean, I've done quite a bit here. If France can't win this on his own, like, what are we at? Uh, this is your only war. How come you are struggling so much? So frustrating. Okay, but this guy is going to win his siege soon. Low control. Call on my ally, Duke Fresco. Come here and help us as the defender. Okay, yes, come and join me. And you guys can come over here and crush this rebellion. Fight that battle, you've won. In fact, I don't think we need to bring you back. You can keep helping friends. Okay, so be it. That is done. We captured him and it ended. This is their war. They're doing very good now. You guys can just kind of sit tight for now. You can continue your siege. Eight months, though. It's going to take a while. But that's okay. I want to get out of that war as soon as we can. That way we can declare other wars. Continue our expansion of England. What I've decided... So, uh, I think I mentioned that I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do when Alfred is dead. And I think what I'm going to do, first of all, if he dies before my uh, Subsession game videos end, I'm going to do those exclusively until I'm done with that. And then we're going to come back and we will continue... Uh, this storyline with this dynasty. So we will continue after Alfred is dead, but I'm going to, um, I don't know how I'm going to, I, I don't know what I want to phrase it as, like a new series or like a new, like episode one with his son. I don't know. I'll figure that out yet. But for now, we are continuing this war. I'm going to have more coffee. And Alfred is, what, 50 now? What, 51? I mean, Aethelwulf is already 20 sips. He has vassals that really like him, actually. Actually, here, opinion of Lee. Yeah, they like him a lot. Which is good. And we're about to win this. Which... France is really close to winning this. There, we won that siege. And you can come up here now, I guess. Shall I come right over here? Can unlock another perk here. Uh, I guess we can come down here and get these, or let's go ahead and get this. Unlock that. Uh, not really doing anything here. know where to go there. We're going to come over here to that barony. 97%. Come on. So close. And then that will be all of West Francia. I mean, the kingdom will be at least. Yeah. I don't know where or like which part it is. All right. I want realms. Yep. Yeah. That's what we're on. They redesigned this a little bit too, I see. My acquaintance has been taken prisoner. Interesting. It's this guy, I think. Yeah, he's at war here against Alba. They're trying to take that principality. And they did it. Good for you. We're going to win the siege. Then we're going to come and declare war on somebody. I don't know who. 
mean, a lot of... Okay, we could go to war with Alba, but that's not going to be any good. They just took the stuff I wanted to go to war for. It's not a big enough kingdom to fight over. Same thing here. I mean, they want... Okay. Uh, there, you won that. Very good. Well done, you. Disband the armies. Let's take a look at this now. So West Francia is over here. This title is still there. So that's fine. Okay. Um, uh, what do we want to fight over? Horbeck. We could go to war for that duchy. Or... For the entire thing. No, they, they are pretty strong, actually. Northumbria. could just go here for my vassal, or I could do a holy war for the duchy. Let's do that. Inferior. Oh, that's a pretty good ally, though. Duchy, you also are inferior, but you've got a highland. That's a really small duchy. This is the one we want. Vastly inferior. Yeah, we're gonna do this. For that duchy. Declare war. Raise the armies. Listen to the great music. Get the armies together. And go on right over there. Spend a bunch of gold to do it. 35, that's not bad. Should be a really easy battle. And then we'll get all of Ulster. Ah, oh, I'm excited for this. I am, oh, oh dear. Uh, I'm at death's doorstep. 52, why am I dying? Oh, because I am wounded. All right, well, let's do this. I mean, my air is in pretty good spot. Um, I will lose some titles, but they will all be, my brother will hold them, which I think will be fine. We're going to come up here. We're going to fight this war. Hopefully we're going to live long enough to get another title into our kingdom. Do they have multiple wars going on. Yep, you. You're the one defending against me in the Holy War. Oh, actually, there's a lot of Holy Wars here. Yeah, he's, uh, I mean, he's very weak here. And as a result, we should win that siege pretty quick. And then we should be there. I mean, we should win the war pretty quick in general. Who is he? So he's defending. Who's the other person? What do you, oh, just like that tiny. Yeah, we're going to win this before the other guy. So we're going to win the siege, which will be the capital. And then I think we'll move over. There's two other counties. We'll see what the war score is after this. What is that? White piece. He wants a white piece? No. Decline. I'm not interested in a white piece. We are totally taking your land. Siege one. Come over here next. Uh, here. Do this one now. And actually, we probably could split this. And one of you is going to continue over here. And you are going to go here. We're going to have two sieges at once. Seven months, nine months. Hopefully we will live long enough. I mean, it's pretty close. Head of faith for gold, yeah, let's do it. 
Do it, do it, do it. Get the money before we die. These funds will bring me victory. Call on my ally. I'm not going to use the prestige on that. I can imprison this countess. A vassal in my realm. Uh, yeah, do it. I don't want any vassals to be... I mean... Yep, you are imprisoned. You can pay your ransom. And you can get out. Quick money there. Very good. These are going well. Four months. Six months. And at some point, I will... I will soon be dead. We're going to continue this episode until I die, because I don't think it makes sense to... I think we're very close to that. Uh, my daughter has become of age. Do another alliance here with West Francia. Uh, yeah, a different dynasty. Um, I don't think we need that. We can do... I want a matrilineal. Yeah, we'll get an alliance out of this. He is blind, apparently. I'm not sure what will happen out of that, but... I don't know, his liege is blind. Does he have a claim? He does. An implicit claim on county. So is that this guy? Is he in line for that? Primary air? No. Okay, but let's go ahead and do that. Whatever. Marry off the daughter. Very good. Excellent. Close that. Faction created the Erdem of West Populists. They want independence. Oh, that's too bad. You're not going to get it. Romance, declaration of love. I am walking the gardens with some of the lords at court when I notice my guest, Mayor. Approaching, I step aside to let her pass, but to my great surprise, she blocks my path and kneels before me. Before I have time to properly process this turn of events, she begins to sing. I quickly recognize the tune. It is a famous Anglo-Saxon love ballad. I have heard it performed countless times, but never with such skill and passion. The intense emotions of the song are mirrored in Mayor's gaze, which is set on me. She does not look away for a single heartbeat. Uh, yeah, abandon this foolish endeavor immediately, right? I mean, uh, my just, or uh, honest just, yeah. Abandon it now. Okay. Plus, I'm on death's bed. What are you, a gold digger or something? The siege over here, 15 months, that's not going to happen anytime soon. We're about to win this one. 77%. Rejoin these armies. Put them back together. Merge them. An acquaintance who is taken prisoner. That's fine. I mean, we could kick that hostile army out, but 12 months now. Call to war. You want me to join this. Zamoran claim on. Uh, okay, it's up. Sure. It's this thing. I'm an attacker. And that's way down here. They're very weak. Okay, yeah, actually, that is a pretty good war to be in. We shouldn't have to do anything. Enemy ally joins war. Ah, here. Enforce demands. We've won that. So be it. That is now part of England. Very, very good. Now, I am at the doorstep of death. I'm above the domain limit, but we're going to hold on to that because, uh, although maybe not. Can I give that to my son? Can 
Can I give you another touchy? That will get me down. Otherwise, he gets nine titles. I think we give him more. Can I give him like all of these? Then he would probably give some of them away, but. And I mean, OK, so he is. Uh, I think he's going to get these anyway. So we'll just wait. And then we'll have control over them after we die. Siege one there. I'm above the domain limit. I know I can get another perk here. Let's go ahead and get this. Okay. Low control, disabled buildings. Can feudalize tribal holdings. Yes, I want to do that. Feudalize. How do I do it? Uh, simple palisade. Move realm capital. Tribal hold, or I can fortify it. How do I feudalize it? Oh, feudalize tribe. Here we go. Make it a castle holding for 500 gold. Yeah, do it. I mean, I probably shouldn't spend money, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because then it will be a little bit better. I'm missing 40 gold. Not going to have enough for that. Uh, all right, get out. And then I will utilize this. Okay, I can create the Duchy of Ulster. Uh, now I don't have money, though. Lawfully imprison this person, a courtier. Another adulterer, let's do it. Air in line to get some things. Okay, you escaped. That's fine. All right, what other wars can I go for? I'm clicking on the wrong things here. Northumbria. You can go for your kingdom. Yes, do it. Uh, I don't have the level of devotion for that. And that's not going to be worthwhile. Because it's not big enough. I want your... I don't want you. All but it isn't worthwhile. That one's a little tempting, actually. Inferior, not inferior enough, though. Same here, you are pretty strong. Okay. You're vastly inferior. Inferior. Other people, this could uh, like they could join, but let's go ahead and do this. Oh, we have armies. Okay, let's disband. Now let's declare this war. Same target, let's just do the county. Cost less. Raise the armies. Head on up there. Yep, keep joining. Faction, another peasant rabble. Alright, more coffee. Okay, so it has said that I'm at Death Stores, but for a while, and this is not, I mean, I've been expecting the, this, 
character to die for a while now and thought that I would be ending the episode. But we're like halfway through what would have been a second episode. So maybe I will have to do a cut. I'm not sure. We'll see. You can get married. Go ahead and do it. We'll win this siege and go from there. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Mental break. Uh, yeah, I am the king. I can do this. I've been overwhelmed by stress. I don't need love, just obedience. Okay, stress is quite high. It's giving me another severe penalty. I mean, I'm definitely close to dying. I have a lot of issues with my health. But we are going to get a lot of England consolidated here. And then we'll go from there. That is that. We've won that siege. What else do we need to get here? This one. Let's go up there. Nope. Where's my army? Go there. Very good. Heresy. Bjornman, what are you doing, son? No, why are you... Oh, insular. I mean, I guess that... <sighs> Don't want you doing that. I mean, we, we have a lot of insular here. I want it all to be Catholic on the island. Faithful. Okay, there's another one here. Let's go ahead and finance that. Don't really have the money, but we're gonna do it anyway. Can we ask the? Yeah. Give us some money to fund this holy war that I'm going on. Aethelwolf has done this too. Ah, kids, what are you doing? Well, I guess we'll see. Absolute control. What does that do? Huh, interesting. Okay. Do it. We're very close to being overseer, which will give us additional marshal and stewardship. Which will be good. Captured your daughter. This is a hostile army. Yes. Get out of my way. I want that. We're only at 31%. Why is this so low? Ah, you took this back? Mm. Are we sieging that? No. Okay. Get down here. Break that. Yeah, break the siege first. We will win that. Took a prisoner. Okay, come over here and take this. Four months. Gained a level of devotion in my faith. Paragon of Virtue. Oh good, I could I could use that. You know what? Split in half, and some of you are coming over here now. sick of waiting for this. I have died. Okay. Uh, well, King Alfred of England has found peace in Christ's embrace at 56 years of age. He died from his wounds. Known to be an exceptional strategist, he spent many of his days examining fields and drilling his troops. King Aethelwulf ascends to the throne. An accomplished diplomat, vassals, and foreign rulers alike are sure to respect him. All right, lost several to Prince Bjornman, the plump, who doesn't have any heirs, which is good. It is very good, which means like his title, it comes to me. Very good. Uh, okay, and lineage, 
Very good. So that is where we will end today. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again when we come back to this story. Thanks for watching.